Let me ask you about natural gas. We have a boom going on in the United States, and you've written recently about the, your hope for a grand bargain, as you put it, between the oil and gas industry and the environmental community on how to produce gas in the United States. Will you describe what the elements of that kind of a bargain could be? Well, yeah, I think that's still to be defined, and I count on people like yourself, like Earth Justice and the Environmental Defense Fund, on one side to say, tell me, because I'm not a scientist, um, how fracking can be done in an environmentally safe and sustainable way. Can fracking be done in an environmental safe and sustainable way at scale? You know, um, I'm told it can be by people in the industry. I want to hear that from people in the environmental community. So let's start there. What are the standards uh, in terms of drilling, casing, water disposal, capture of, of leakage, you know, that would say, if we could get these standards, make them the industry standard, that if you operate under these standards, whether you're a mom and pop driller or Exxon Mobil, we'll give you fast permitting and allow you to really exploit the bounty of, of this that we have of natural gas. Because it seems to me there's two great advantages of this bounty. One is it allows us to shift, uh, continue that shift from coal to a bridge fuel that is half as uh, polluting in terms of its impact on the climate. It's not where we want to be, but it's, it's certainly a bridge and an important one. It would allow us to phase out coal. That would be a huge thing. Secondly, having all this domestic natural gas, um, selling at, at really a very small MM, you know, BTU price relative to other fuels, would be a huge advantage for American industry. That we wouldn't have to import this. It would be right here. We, it may become even an export min, in, industry, but we'd have a huge source of cleaner fuel to power American industry, that would be great for jobs, great for American competitors, great for the dollar, and great for our balance of payments and trade. So um, I'd like to be able to do this, but I'm not going to sacrifice the planet to do it. And once Earth Justice and the other environmental groups say, that Here, here's the standards, and then I will fight for those standards. I say, okay to the industry, these, these, these are high standards. You meet these, they're not that expensive from what mm -hmm. I'm told to meet. It's not going to cost that much. And we can really uh, get this industry to take off, but on one more condition. That we understand there's got to be a bridge to somewhere. And so for me, it's always been, okay, we're going to, here's, here's the deal. Um, we will um, give a green light to this industry under these standards, but we want something in return. You stop fighting efficiency standards. I want to make sure this is a bridge to somewhere, not just a bridge to a cleaner fuel from coal to natural gas, but a bridge to a cleaner economy. So stop fighting us on efficiency standards, you know, stop fighting us on things like cap and trade or whatever we decide, you know, is the thing we're working for. But we're going to make this possible for you. We're going to be your partner. But you got to be you got to knock it off on some of these other things. So I think yeah. I think the community, the environmental community should come to the table with that kind of argument. So there are some complications, as you've alluded to, right. in the in the concept. One is about the bridge. Right. We, if we go forward with the gas investment that we're making in this right. country today, and looks like we will make in the near future, mm -hmm. billions and or even hundreds of billions of dollars are being invested in a whole new generation of gas infrastructure. Right. New power plants. Right. New pipelines. New drill fields. Right. We don't have a mechanism today to dial that down right. when you get to the end of the end of the bridge right so uh, so clearly a concern with this mm -hmm. is a bridge has an end right we have a cleaner future that we have to get to for right. climate reasons how does this bridge come to an end a as we need to move from that 50 percent reduction right. in carbon to, to 80 percent or right. zero right. Right. well that's why I say it's got to be part of a broader strategy yeah. that says we're going from 50 to 80 to zero. Yeah. And I think it's got to be kind of a 50-year plan. And that's why I say the part of the bargain has to be not only that the green community will give a green light to this exploitation under the right conditions. Yeah. And, and I don't know what those are. And, and yeah. by the way, if people come to me and say, Tom, fracking causes earthquakes. Fracking, yeah. you know, fracking is going to, you're right. going to turn your, 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 your bathtub on and, and, and light up the tub, you know. We're growing fast with our gas production. And a lot of questions aren't fully answered right. about the impacts. Yeah. Are, are we causing earthquakes? Yeah, I don't know. Are at a certain density of 
fracturing the geological layers are we doing something beyond right. what we're doing when we just do it once uh, I am told though I mean the source is Boone Pickens so you know I mean Boone's got an interest in the industry yeah. but you know that I mean he said he fracked his first well in like in the 1950s so this yeah. this has been going on for a while yes. as I understand yes. so um, I think there I I want to make sure I'm being fair to their side too that yep. oh my god just because there was an earthquake there it's now fracking you Got know it. we have to be careful that you know, there's a snowstorm and our climate is changing i mean yes. we want to make sure that we're, we're on solid yep. footing you know yep. and um but once there i think yep. we should fight this ferociously yeah i think that w the challenge i'm alluding to in this is what's the pace of development relative to the pace of learning right. and research about Absolutely. what's needed on yeah. the standards. And, and I think that's why you know, we, we have to do this as a collective act. Yeah. You know, not them exp you know, going out and doing it and then earth justice suing them. Yeah. Let's do this together, you know what I mean? Um, and and, and we, we, it seems to me it can be a win-win. I hope, I, but I don't know. I want to see the science. Yeah.